Hi, this is Neil from Pro Tools PC, and today I'm going to show you something that's been well known for a while, but I just thought I'd do an up to date video with Pro Tools 12.3, and that is track presets and how to create them, how to manage them. And the process has been simplified a bit now with the introduction of it as part of our Trasher application, which comes installed on every Pro Tools PC. And if you don't have it, you can download it for free from uh, our website. So first of all, I'm going to show you that if you have no idea what it is, it's uh, an application to manage and maintain Pro Tools preferences. Uh, so I'm going to launch it here and uh, I won't give you an overview of it because we've got a separate video for that and I'll show you where that is and where to get it. So first off, we'll go there. So let's go to our website, protoolspc.com. And then if you go to tutorials and system maintenance, you'll see some videos there and you want this one, Trasher for Windows. And if you click that, watch the video, that'll tell you all about it and how to get hold of it. So uh, that's downloadable from us uh, as part of what you get with a Pro Tools PC, but you can also download it if you don't have one of our machines. Uh, while you're there, check out our news blog, news and tips and product releases, reviews, etc. Uh, sign up uh, with the subscribe here and keep up to date with these videos and more. Here we are with Trasher running, and if you go to Trasher on the second page of the Pro Tools 12 tab, so these two are for Pro Tools 12, these two are for Pro Tools 10, and if you go to the second tab, there is an option for backing up track presets and restore or creating track preset folder. So if you hit that button, not a lot happens apart from it comes up saying completed successfully. Okay we're done. We can close Trasher for now. And if we go and navigate to where the things have happened, if you go inside your system drive, and users, and the username of yourself, and then documents. Alternatively, you can just go into your users folder, and documents. And you'll see a folder called Pro Tools. Go inside there. There's a folder now called Track Presets. And inside there is a list of track types that you can populate these folders with your track presets. So I'm going to show you what effectively, what the benefit of doing this is within a Pro Tools project. So here's Pro Tools open, blank canvas, nothing going on. What I can do is go to Track, New, and this one I'm going to do is for a, for a virtual instrument. So I want a stereo instrument, but as you see, when you click on what kind of instrument, there's this whole other list down here that's not normally there. Usually you have this list, and I would normally go, okay, stereo instrument track. But actually now I have an extra list of stuff, and that's what the uh, Trasher installation has done, is created all these folders. So what I want to show you is a virtual instrument. So I go on VIs and then I have a list, another list to the right here. So that's my VIs folder and my list to the right. And I've created a preset for contact, native instruments contract with uh, 16 channels already routed to the Pro Tools mixer. Now anybody that uses contact will know that that's a really annoying thing about contact is the multi-channel output routing is not uh, set up automatically for you. So I've done a track preset. So I hit that and hit create and wait a moment and bang. Okay, I have 16 channels on the mixer, one instance of contact, my 16 channels in the mixer here, and they are routed automatically to the 16 channels there. So if you look at the, the routing, the first channel, the master channel, is just a normal stereo channel. So nothing different there apart from I've named it contact master one and two. But if you look at the other channels, I've gone contact three and four, five and six, seven and eight, etc. And their inputs of each channel are set to the plugin 
routing that you'll see within contact over here. So that shows you the, the routing out of contact into these channels. So that goes in the same labeling, that's stereo input two, stereo input three, stereo input four, stereo input five, all the way up to stereo input eight, which is channels 15 and 16. So that I can load up a preset and by default, it routes to stereo output one, MIDI channel one. So if I record enable that track and start to play, there are there is audio routed to that channel. Uh, so that makes sense. That's just normal. Uh, what I can do now is change the output. So if I, for example, uh, this track routed to channel two and start playing, there's nothing coming through because there's no instance of contact on channel two. But if I bring in another instance on MIDI channel two, that's working, but still coming out of channels uh, one and two. So I can route that to three and four. And as you see, it's routed to three and four. So what you can do now is have more instruments going add another one, add another one, route all of the individual outputs out to their own individual channels and mix to your heart's content within Pro Tools. Going any further with this is a bit beyond the scope of the video, but I just want to show you how powerful it can be. And what I'm going to do is now is a real simple explanation of making the track presets. So I'm going to close all of that down, remove those channels, and make something very simple and that will be a new stereo audio track uh, actually aux input it's going to be an effect this one so i'll create that this one's going to be a reverb i'll call it reverb if i can spell uh, and what should I name it? Um, I'll call it a D-verb, and I'll just set it up for D-verb. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is just copy that name as well. Okay, uh, I'll set up the busing as well, so I'm going to set that up as bus 1 and 2, and that's my reverb track ready to go. All I need to do is actually insert D-verb. So let's go to the reverbs and deverb. There you go. Done. Ready to go. What I do now is go File, Save as Template, and then I choose Select Location for Template. And I go back to that folder, which is within my Documents, Pro Tools, Track Presets. So in Track Presets, in the Reverb folder, I'm going to save this one as dverb, if I can spell dverb. Okay, save that. So now what I do is go track new stereo reverb, and in my list is dverb. Create that. There you go. Track done. So that's really simply how to do a track preset. And as I showed before, it can get very complex with things like multi-channel routing. And I'll do a separate video to show you how I did what I did with contact. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, you've probably seen it all before, but I just thought I'd update it for the latest version of Pro Tools 12.3 and give you an example of how powerful it can be. Uh, if you like what you've seen, as I say, go back to the website, sign up to our mailing list, and our blog posts and you'll get more of this kind of stuff come through as email notifications as soon as it's available and hopefully i will see you again soon thanks very much for watching